is about a group of scientists that got signal from an abandoned planet and they are going there to search what happened there, what sent the signal. Uh, during the landing, the spaceship crashed, so right now the main goal is to repair the spaceship and fly away. A few days after uh, they land on the planet, they realize that something is trying to kill them and probably get out of the planet using their spaceship. They should leave very quickly. <laughs> yes, so as soon as uh, if they repair the spaceship very quickly, quickly it would be the best for them. So the place when, when they crashed has some buildings, so apparently the planet wasn't uh, abandoned always. It wasn't so abandoned after all. Yes. Uh, during the game, you, you get the plot from uh, the characters. They, they told about uh, themselves, about the, the mission, about the planet, what they know. Uh, uh, and the, the, the main game is uh, typical uh, management. When you manage this group of people, each character you manage separately. You apply them different activities. They can work, they can rest they can eat and they can learn new skills from each other. If someone dies, you can learn his skill. For example, if someone can uh, prepare food using a uh, lamp in the shelter, they won't be able to produce food, so probably they will all die. So we need to have that support, we need to learn how to make food. Yes, it's, it's most important at the beginning. So, we have to provide them a heat, so this shelter has a furnace, which hits all the building. It, it looked definitely like a human building. So in the in the game we in the later part of the game we realized that it, it was a planet where some humans or humanoid uh, characters had to live before. Uh, this character can go to uh, produce food and this okay also that uh, he will uh, chop trees. And we have some resources like uh, wood, like food, like electric waste, which is used for upgrade and repair stuff. And what you have to do to watch out for all the statistics, keep them alive, and produce as much as uh, electric waste that you are able to repair the spaceship. To escape? Yes, to escape. This is, this is your spaceship, but these are three damage modules. When you uh, repair all these three modules, you can uh, end the game and uh, leave the planet. Of course, uh, during the game you will know what happened there, why are there, this is no coincidence that they crashed there. Uh, so we learn many, many things about this planet and about their execution. Uh, one more quite interesting thing is that you can kill every one of the crew member well, in every time of the game. For example, right now, you can kill... I don't know who is this. This is John. Right now, uh, all mental health of other characters go down. So why would you kill your own character? Because you can do, both, do two things. You can bury this guy, or you can use it as a food. Oh, so, you can eat him? <laughs> yes. He lands in a fridge. And he's quite important resource. At the beginning it's not important, but the, the, the later in the game it might change uh, the game so you can even win. Because you can win the game even in one, with one character, you don't have to keep them alive. How many do you start with? Four? Uh, in the spaceship there were eight. Eight. Five crashed in a different part of the planet. And when you start the game, each time you start with a different three characters. So everyone knows a different part of the story. So you can play many times uh, and know uh, uh, like puzzles. Each character knows a uh, different part. So Awesome. Okay. That sounds really cool. So how long is this, does it take to play through one round? Uh, if you know what to do, if you loot, loot lose uh, a few times, you, the game is, uh, you can play in the game in three or four hours. 
but so it's pretty there, long for you know for so, yes. so we if someone know how to play there is a fast forward mode so it's uh, uh, times four everything go faster uh, and we have also pause uh, it's an active pause mode when you can pause the game choose what do you want to do you don't have to hurry it. it's not real time and then just uh, press play and everything goes as you uh, wanted. So you can play it real time on a more strategically uh, uh, an active mode. And then now start to talk something about the planet. Each character has their uh, set of dialogues, uh, react of some things that happen in the game. That's awesome. I like the idea of having to play through multiple times to get the whole story. That's really cool. And uh, from the beginning you have all the area uh, this is all the area for the entire game. You won't change the levels, you, you see everything, but some uh, elements in the background will change. You will see some changes in the background, in the landscape, uh, during the plot progress. So how do you get the electronic waste? Do you have to harvest it or do you just find it like... They are here, you just have to, I don't know, you have to find uh, maybe someone who can... You killed him, you killed can, him already! Who can, who can, who can, who can, oh yes, she can do it. Electric waste search. So it's a skill that uh, some people uh, have and others can learn from it. So at the beginning you have to always have someone who can search for electric waste, someone who can uh, prepare food and someone who can uh, chop trees. So this is three basic elements. Later on you have an uh, engineer that enters the game because you have power plant that supplies an energy of this uh, elements in the, in the shelter. And when the engineer appears, it's much easier to play because uh, the device doesn't break and get damaged so often that, uh, without him. Okay, so she went and harvested some electronic waste, but yes. now she's like, now, yes. she's like glitching. Yes. What's, what's going on there? It's a part of the story. This strange glitches that appears when they are very, when they are mental health is very low. Yes, she harvests something. Now she can go and rest. Uh, something is broken. Yes, the power plant is broken, so we have to repair it using electric waste. We have to use five of electric waste and we have 32, so it's not uh, very uh, expensive repair. And we can uh, skip it by fast forwarding on the process. Yes, when it's ready, it starts the work. Uh, right now it's a bit, uh, I don't know how to say it, a bit dim. It's not very crisp because furnace doesn't work and it's a very low temperature in the building. Right now we are working on a notification system because there are so many things going on that you won't be able to just go around from left to right and uh, searching for some problems. There is a notification system that you know all the time what, what is wrong. Awesome. That's it, that's it. That's really cool. I really think that's a neat concept. So what gave you the idea for this game? Do you have any big inspirations? Uh, we like uh, the, the film Snowpiercer. Okay. About uh, the, the train that goes from the frozen planet and everyone lives in this, uh, this uh, train. Yeah. And also horrors, the horror like the thing movie. Okay. So later in the game some similar things appear. So there's some scary bits later yes. on. And Lost, if you see the names of the main characters, you will... Uh, do you have all the Lost characters? Almost. Uh, not characters, but names. So we have a lock in this game. Uh, no. The lock is... Uh, is it? it was John Lock. We have John. Yeah, so you have John. Okay. Yes, we have John, we have Juliet, we have uh, Kate. Okay. We have, we have Jacob. Oh, okay. Well, let's watch out for that character. We have Richard, and Richard is a very strange character. 
that yeah. makes perfect sense. And he appears in the end of the game. He's in the he, Richard is always in the part of the crew that crashed in the other part of the planet. So how do you get more people? They come from the other crew. They just come by. Day, uh, they just come by themselves, or do you have to do something? Uh oh, I think we're blowing yeah, up. It was an uh, earthquake. Uh, okay. Some people came in the later part of the game, but it's uh, uh, connected with the plot. We know where they will come and who will come. So we know, but the player doesn't know. It's connected to the, with the plot. It's, so it's, it's based on plot, like the, whatever yes, day it yes, is. Yes. Okay, cool.